become like this. And it's interesting as you're doing it, you're also you're going down. You know, you move your leg too. As a pro, you move your leg. You sit. Can you see the way my leg is moving? One, two, one, two. Can you show my can you show my leg too? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. So let's take it again. Second step. One, two. From this position, you then go down to a kneeling position. This is the second variation. This is the first the variation to this step. So you go down to the to your knees, and it's like this: one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So you go down. You see me. You're smiling, you know, and it's beautiful. So from here, you're now kneeling. You then go down to the That's why I advise, before you do this, you have to do some African warm-up so exercises so you can get your balls free and go back, go back, go back. You come up. You shake your shoulders, shake your shoulders, shake your shoulders, you come up. Then from here, you can then go down the gate. In and out, in out, in out, in out, in out, out, in. And you smile. Then you come up. And you come back here. Okay? I hope you got it. Remember from here, you go to a kneeling position. From the kneeling position, take it all the way back. Shake it off. Shake it up, shake it up. Then you come back in up. With your head turning left, right, left. Then you come up. And you are okay. So that is that for this step. Remember, you have to warm up. Just exercise you have to do so your waist can be free, your hands can be free. And you can be flexible, you can enjoy what you're doing. So you're back up here. Now, to add, remember I told you, Atinoku is very energetic, very exciting, you make the, the crowd, you know, excited, looking for more. So when you're up here, by then the tempo is high, people are happy. When you have come up, you're excited. Then with the music, everywhere is happy, you then take a leap. In Africa, we have and leaves we do. Atilog is a Nigerian dance, of course, Africa, West Africa. So you take a leap to make it very exciting. You take a leap. Woo! And you shout to make it exciting, to make people excited. You see how to jump it. It's like this. Now, this jump we're doing, we're imitating the animals. The African dance is full of imitation of animals and everything. And that's in general, of course, you know, from across the nations, they imitate. It's just about imitation. So African dance is not an exception. It's not an exception. We're imitating animals. So you see the jump. The jump is this way. You. And as you do, you shake your shoulders. You use your prop. Shake your shoulders. You use your prop. Now, this is it. If you want to go back, your feelings is it's exciting, you want to go back. You now do the waist dance. Remember how to dance like a fish. You do the waist dance and you go out. For how to dance the waist dance, the link to is in my, is in this description, I have taught how to dance it. So these are the basic steps you can use to spice up your cultural dance um, your cultural dance choreography. Yes, you can use it and it's beautiful. Now I'm going to do it with music so we can get the flavor. Listen. <laughs>
basic catalog with that step part two. Please comment, share, like. Thank you. I received so much comments. People sending me calling for part two, banging on my door, screaming. Why we have part two? Yes, this is part two. Thank you so much for all your comments. And it is important. You do a 30 minutes video, yes, 30 second video of what I just told yes, so that I can know where the difficulty is and I can have um, a one on one contact with you, one on one tutorial. Yes. We'll be happy to teach you one on one, will help you better to get the dance. Post, comment, you know, you can contact me and let me know your difficulty. Thank you once more for watching and enjoy it. Now you can do it by with it. Thank you. Bye.